I want you to stop being afraid of your own potential. I know it might sound weird because if you're on the beginning of your journey towards greatness, where you're trying to self-improve, you're trying to have an impact on the world, you're trying to become a successful person, you might not think that you're afraid of your potential yet because you haven't seen the glimpse of your actual true potential. Right now, it's all in your head. It's all kind of like a feeling that you have of the potential that you have. But once you start seeing that potential, once you start taking action and start having momentum, you'll realize that it might scare you. And I don't want you to be afraid because here's my story. When I was a loser (laughs) and I say it's relative because to other people's eyes, I was never a loser because I always had good grades. I uh, was winning at life. I had a career. I'm a professional soccer player. Um, I had a boyfriend. I looked good. I was healthy. Uh, had a good relationship with my parents. So it looks like I was winning at life, right? But deep down, I felt like a loser because I did not feel like I have a purpose. I did not feel like I had a mission in life and I was impacting the people I wanted to impact. And I felt like I had so much to offer, yet I wasn't doing anything about it. I was just kind of thinking about it and I was feeling it, but not taking action. The moment I started taking action, which is basically this year when I started this YouTube channel, when I went out there to try to impact the people I wanted to impact, someone like you that wants to be successful, that wants to uh, make good in this world that is visionary and ambitious. I want to impact people like you because I feel like I connect to you and I know your pains because I've been through it. And I'm just here to tell you that at some point your potential will scare you because I recently started gaining subscribers on YouTube. And if you're one of them, I fucking love you. Let's fucking go. But I recently just started getting so many subscribers. I'm start- starting to see traction on my channel. I'm starting to have more views on my videos. For a second, I started being so afraid because I realized that I'm reaching more people and I'm becoming quote unquote successful. And the reason why I'm afraid, I realize because I started to think about it is because with a lot of influence comes more responsibility and it comes with a lot of caution because you're putting yourself at risk, your reputation more at risk. But the thing is, if you want to have an impact, this is necessary to go through. To live a life worth living is risky because if you just want to be dead in your life, just stay comfortable, stay average, stay in your comfort zone. But that's not worth it because you know you have that potential and you'll always live with the what if. So getting after what you want is scary. And you're going to have the fear of all the responsibilities that come with the influence you're going to have. But embrace that. Right now, I'm overcoming that fear by continuing doing what I'm doing. I want you to keep going. So if you see small amounts of success happening in your life, don't be afraid of that. Use that as powerful fuel as sign that you're on the right track. If you're scared, good. If you're scared, you're doing the right thing and you're taking steps forward. I'm realizing the impact I can start having on people's lives and I'm afraid because there's a lot of accountability that comes into that. And I'm stepping into the unknown every time that I post a YouTube video because I don't know the impact it's going to have. But what I do know is my intention. I know that my intentions are good. I know that my intentions is to help people. It's to create good in this world. So there is nothing to worry about. Of course you will have haters. I already have haters. I know that. But they're the losers here because they're wasting their time, wasting their potential, hating on me while I am self-actualizing. I am getting better. I am evolving. I'm learning. I make mistakes and I learn from them. And I'm growing. This is all I want in life. It's becoming a greater version of myself. Conquering my fears. Not letting my limiting beliefs hold me back. Not letting my potential scare me. Anything worthwhile in life is going to be difficult to obtain. So 
This journey is meant to be hard. Life is not made for the weak. If you want to have a purposeful life, you have to be strong because the more impact you have, the more problems you're going to face. But the good thing is because you have slowly built yourself to become that influential person, you will have acquired the tools to deal with that. So don't be afraid of where you're going to be and all the responsibilities you're going to have once you have that impact because know that you will have grown along the way. And that's why you don't want to be an overnight success because you want to acquire slowly those skills that make you be able to deal with those situations later on. If you became an overnight success like that and did not have work for it or did not develop, you won't know how to deal with the problems that comes with that amount of influence. So be grateful if things are slow and are taking time because you will develop along the way. Even right now with the micro influence I have, I know that I'm better prepared to deal with it right now than I did a year ago before I started. So I just want you to feel grateful for the small amount of progress and the small amount of influence that you have. I am super grateful for you even taking the time to listen to me because Without you, I wouldn't have a purpose. I need people like you to relate to me, to understand each other. I need people like you to drive me forward, to feel like I have some sort of mission in my life. I'm so grateful that you're even watching this. This is sometimes unreal for me to think that you are taking time out of your precious life to listen to me. So be grateful for the small amount of momentum that you have, the small influence that you have, and just know that you might have tons of issues, tons of challenges and problems and things holding you back along the way. But think about this. If you put all your problems in a pile and then everyone did the same thing, you'd probably run away with your own problems because everyone has some bullshit in their life. Everyone has some challenges they have to deal with. Life is not for the weak And if you want your life to be easy, you have to do the hard things. Because if you do the easy things, it will give you a hard life. But if you do the hard things, it will give you an easy life. That's like a quote, a paradox, I don't know from who, but it makes a lot of sense. That's basically delaying gratification. Doing the hard things right now for a better future for yourself. I hope you have faith in yourself. I hope you believe in yourself. And just know that you have potential that is ready to be impactful. And don't be afraid of that. Embrace the fact that you are growing, that you have something to offer. And we need people like you to come forward and own who they are. Don't be afraid of that. I know you're a good person. I know that whenever you do have the influence you want to have, you will do good in this world. So there's nothing to be afraid of because you're promoting growth you're promoting a better world and we need more people like you so keep going i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you got something out of this um i love you so much i will see you in the next day or so in a new video okay love you bye